Hi everybody, welcome back to Adonia Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fully carved 3D dinosaur and it's all cake. So I've baked a dome shaped cake in an 8 inch dome pan and I'm carving it to make it like an oval eggish shape like so. If you don't have an oval pan, you can make three 8 inch uh, cake layers and carve it accordingly. So make sure it's a longish oval bread shape and use a serrated bread knife to carve it in this shape. Once you're happy with the shape, I'm slicing it into three slices and I'm filling it with some whipped white chocolate ganache and some cherries. I'm using a 12 by 12 inch square cake board to assemble this dinosaur. So once that's done, I'm just carving out a slight curve like a little cave to make the dinosaur give it slight movement and to make it like you know he's like a bent uh, in a bent position so very very slightly if you can see then I'm using some melted white chocolate ganache to do a nice crumb coat it doesn't have to be extremely smooth and perfect at this time now I'm using an 8 inch cake layer and carving out a crescent to make the tail Carve out the top part and place it like so. Again use the same frosting to build the tail. Now I am carving the edge giving it a slight slope and I am rounding the sides so that it is nice and well rounded and does not have sharp corners. Take your time, do little at a time because once you carve too much then it's a little difficult to put stuff back. So take your time and do little by little. Now I'm covering the tail with again some whipped and melted white chocolate ganache. I'm using 3 is to 1 ratio chocolate to cream. Now I'm using a 6 inch cake two cakes six inch and I am carving out the head again making it slightly oval and rounded at the front carving out a slope making sure it's nice and smooth and rounded and now it doesn't have any sharp corners once you're happy with the shape again frost it Fill it with the same white chocolate ganache. You can use any frosting you wish but this was a white forest flavor. So I am using some white chocolate, whipped white chocolate ganache and cherries. Again give a nice coating with the same melted white chocolate. And I am using a plastic scraper from Ultimax. I will put a link in the description box if you want to buy it to smoothen everything out. I am also using some cake crumbs mixed with white chocolate ganache to finish the shape of the long cake. Now cover it fully with white chocolate ganache and put it in the fridge for about an hour or so to set. Once set, I have rolled out a large piece of fondant. Make sure it is nice and thin and large enough to cover the entire cake and I am using my hands and very carefully section by section smoothing out the fondant and making sure there are no pleats and it's nicely stuck to the cake. Once this is done, tuck the ends into the cake so that there are no sharp and uh, uneven edges. Once you're happy, I'm adding the hands and legs. Use some water or edible glue to stick it onto the dinosaur. And now let's make the facial and the other body features. The nose. 
the mouth of the dinosaur, a little smile. I'm using balls of white fondant to make the eyes and the eyeballs. Now using a star cutter, cut out a shape of a star in red fondant and I'm using that to put to make the spikes again using some edible glue to stick the spikes onto the body some nice dots to make our dinosaur colorful and there you have it a beautiful carved 3d dinosaur ready for your party I really hoped you liked this video if you did Please, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment on the kind of videos you would like to see. Until next time, bye-bye.